Have you ever wondered what value is there in studying some older protocol? Well, sometimes it actually makes a comeback. And that's the case with intermediate system to intermediate system routing protocol. My name is Anthony Sequero with IT Pro TV. And in this episode, I'm gonna tell you what the pros know. So it was decades ago, there was a battle royale between OSPF and ISIS for mind and market share. These two routing protocols are incredibly similar to each other. Both of them use the Dijkstra's shortest path first algorithm. Both of them are link state. Both of them could eventually go on to carry IPv4 and IPv6 prefixes, but OSPF, we know, won out. ISIS really looked like it was going to be completely irrelevant. Only a few large service providers were running it as their interior gateway protocol. But guess what? It is roaring back. Here you can see one of the many slides that I put together for the Cisco NSLED class. That is our class that's an elective for the CCNP Enterprise Certification, and we are creating training for it here at IT Pro TV, and it's great stuff. And sure enough, I do a bunch of coverage on ISIS because, as I stated, it's mounting a huge comeback. The first place I noticed intermediate system to intermediate system routing making its comeback was when it was selected as the routing protocol to power Cisco's fabric path. This is a wonderful alternative to spanning tree protocol. It's essentially adding routing to the layer two MAC address finding environment. So it's like MAC address routing and ISIS is the routing intelligence there. It didn't surprise me much when I saw that ISIS was the recommended IGP to offer in your underlay of the SD access solution the software defined access solution from Cisco Systems. So it's wonderful that I had invested all that time studying ISIS years ago because it's coming back to benefit me now. And I would love for you to just learn from this lesson. It is often very beneficial to study like distance vector protocols so you can experience and really appreciate link state routing protocols. It's valuable to read about EGP in Jeff Doyle's famous routing TCP IP volume and really appreciate then how Border Gateway Protocol came to be. So never fear, you know, wasting your time because you're really not when you go back and take a historical look at protocols and you never know, they could come roaring back like intermediate system to intermediate system. I hope I've piqued your interest on ISIS, and I hope you'd consider joining me to look at scalable routing designs for not only this protocol, but also EIGRP, OSPF, and of course, BGP, along with other great design topics that are in the NSLED training here at IT Pro TV. Check out the playlist to see more What the Pros Know videos and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Anthony Sequera, and now you know what the pros know.